Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Today we start investigation day number two in case four. Maya! Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey, why did you do that anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Uh, okay. Talk. Questioning. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Whew. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. Don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Okay, so... Let's move back to the scene. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Beach. Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Keonse. Move to the woods. Hey, Detective Gumshoe! Hey, Bill! The trial today, it, uh... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure I had a thing, you know? Uh, thanks. Talk. Tomorrow's trial. Detective Gumshoe, any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. I was wondering who that other witness was. Or, who was it? Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgewood doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a lawyer, and him being scared of earthquakes, it all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. I wanted to talk to you about my affair. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let it go as soon as they had the report written up. Man. I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Edgeworth, he was so moved I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is bail going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. All right, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Hmm. 
Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. <laughs> oh, very good. Let's head back to the detention center. Hey, Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, Nick. Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Huh. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Okay. So now let's head back to Gordon Blake. Yes, you do have to be very methodical about this. There aren't as many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Hey, it's Lotta. Y'all really did it today. What do we do now? No, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started babbling any old thing that came to mind. Lotta. So you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? Talk. Today's trial. What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I've been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder. What about Gordon? What? Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordon fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to start them. All right, Lotta, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. Lotta, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, actually I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we'll get to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. A exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh... Hey! I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most of them is are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what will it be? We're gonna deal or not? What do we do, Nick? Force you to take the deal. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker. I may not be sophisticated, but I'm but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gordy? But Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. And bring me proof that shows he don't. Uh, I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something, y'all come to me first. Got it? Okay. Right, see y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Uh, hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay. And how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? I don't know about that, Phoenix. Go to the public beach. I wasn't there before. What's that? This 
steel samurai, man. Yo, Maya. Larry, what the heck is this? Oh, it was my girl Keonze's idea. She was all, if you like put this here, it would be like really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow, that's real impressive. She could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she got it for free. Right. 